So a lot of you have been asking for my avatar in the comments. If you want to buy my avatars, go to a game named Catalog Avatar Creator, find Community Outfits, and search up by every TSB. I'll be posting all of my avatars that I use in my videos in here, so if you want to buy it, feel free to do so. Now back to the video. So yesterday, I uploaded a video about an unescapable 100% combo using Garu's ultimate. And it required you to execute a successful front dash, which is pretty challenging since you can easily predict a front dash. Especially if you know that the person will definitely go for this exact 100% combo. But after I uploaded that video, I decided to play around with this combo a bit more, and I found a way to do this combo without the need of a front dash. And I present to you Garu's second, most dumbest and broken one-shot combo. But hey, at least Garu's ultimate is not that useless anymore. Anyways, let me show you how this combo looks like. And that's literally it. You don't even need to use up all of your moves for this. Just look at this. This is actually so stupid. Alright, so now, on to the guide. First, you need to learn how to do this tack with Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist. I made a very detailed explanation about this tack in my previous video. You can find it here, or in the description. And after that, you need to learn how to do the true down slam. The true down slam is basically a down slam, but with more stun. It's a bit ping dependent, so if you have around 50 ping or more, then it'll be easier for you to perform. So what you need to do is, do two M1s, then, when you did the third M1, you need to jump shortly after. Do not jump an M1 at the same time. M1 first, and after about 0.2 milliseconds, press space. This works because your punches are delayed due to ping, but jumping for some reason is not delayed. So what you're doing is timing the M1 and jump to execute at the same time. You can practice this tack like this, and I recommend you to practice it first, because this tack is a little bit difficult at first. And after that, it's a piece of cake. Just make sure you hit every single M1. Because the combo does exactly 100% damage.